go. Let's get some loot, yeah! Alright, so just so you guys know, Bruce Lee and Kitten are still up and running! Get it, guys, get it! But no, seriously. We got what, the crystal gauntlets? Oh, blah, these guys. Garbage! Garbage! Yeah, we got something. I want to see if this is coming up on... aren't taking my game cartridges nope I gotta know what item this technically is because it's the white robe okay wow this is saying I gotta fight for it or it's to my right On it, Argargus. Hell no, you see this webcam, you see chat, you see all the stuff above. That, my friend, is the power of our desktop. Not to mention, we can play Ark now. We can play games like Ark, Killing Floor 2. We can play Dirty Bomb. We can actually play FPS games. You know, that's, that's a big deal. Um, I want to get back to all those games I mentioned. Because I feel like when I had my stream up and running, 
if I hadn't gone down like I did constantly, we wouldn't be, you know, we would be partnered by now, probably. We would possibly be partnered by now. Seriously. Did you enjoy your What's, up? What's up, man? Not much, man. Needed to get some food for me, Donnies. How you doing, Doja? Good. What's up, to game? How's the computer reinstallation and stuff? Playing on the badass computer right now. What you playing? We are finishing Final Fantasy IV as we speak. Nice. Rocket League? Hell no! I don't even have. I don't have the money. I am actually. In struggle mode right now. Like, You're really gonna test it out and get back on Ark. Yeah, I know. I gotta test it out on Ark and with Hector. So you picked up the white robe. I'll catch you on a few minutes or something. All right, Dozer. We got an update coming. I'll hang out. Hold on. Did you left your channel? Ah, dang it. Mr. Pyromich has left the server. Woo! <laughs> I feel like I need to be over there. Um... I really feel like there's a spot to be over there. And that was what, the crystal helm? Enter the door on the far right. Maybe he should try Fantasy Star Universe. You can play it offline if you get the right EXE. I actually... I'm not going to lie about it. I actually have a ripped copy, and I'm buying a real copy of it when I have the money to do so this fall. It's a twisted way around to get over there. Yeah, but I want 100% of the map, so I don't have to do it on the next playthrough. I can just be like, well, we got it. Like, I can do it, most of it on this run. We're, we're on our way, though, because that's where this is pointing us. The guide is actually helping us get there. Yeah, the guide will get us there. It's helping us get all the chests currently. Um, so I believe this is the... Uh... Oh, wow. More stamina makes your health increase per level. I did not realize that. We have ridiculous guilt. Ridiculous. I'm so sick of my money. It's ridiculous. Red Fang. More Red Fang business. Apparently you can get a tail 
And there's a chest in there, so it will get you there. Uh, and there's a chest there, so it will get you there, said no one in real life, ever. <laughs> yeah. We do have uh, Fantasy Star Universe 2. I actually own it. I paid, get this guys, 22 cents on Amazon. 22 cents. I actually paid the shipping cost. Brand new from Japan. An American copy, so I believe this came right off fan, uh, manufacturer's table for 22 cents. Awesome. The first one, still ain't got it yet. Why? They want like 20, 30 bucks. And I wouldn't mind getting the book either. Why? I am a fan. Um, however, I can just get online, pull up a, a full playthrough guide, and, and all the tips and tricks and craziness. If I'm not mistaken, I believe I have the guide for the first one. Um, it's it's for I think the PC or the 360. Not sure. Wow, I am not fighting anything any in here. That's what this item is for. Whoa! Siren. Yep. Pink ones. Pink blobs. Dance with us. Samba de flan. Samba de flan. Wow, yep, we are fighting the rare pink samba, or pink puff. We are flan dancing, my friends. How much health do these guys have? Do you know Xanth? Wow, they pack a punch. They're not kidding. Oh, stay alive. Stay alive. One down. Ah. Hell yeah, I know, right? What's episode three? Hey Kauruk, could you send me episode three and could you send me a link for that on uh, through a Twitch message if, if there is an episode three? They are pink puffs. They are a very rare enemy. They're a one in 64 chance and they drop a special item called the pink tail. Oh my god, the music changed. Uh, the pink tail allows me to get the adamant armor, the best armor in game. As you notice, everyone got inflicted with rage, except for Cecil. Um, the fact that Cecil died means I can't use uh, the unicorn horn on Edge to use steel, which would allow me to steal the item if they were carrying it right off their bodies. This is something that you would definitely leave the tunnel for. You would leave this place to go get that item. It's that important. <sighs> um What? That was only available when playing Fantasy Star Universe online? What episode three? Are you talking about ambitions of the Illuminus? This is episode two. Thank you, Leah. Ah, we didn't get it. We got screwed.
through all the times I have played the different incarnations of this game, I have never gotten a tail to drop. Well, I got sirens to call these guys. Steel. Hell yeah, Doja. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for so much support, guys. Thank you so much for the support. We're just gonna, like, superpower all over the guys. Oh my god, no, what did I do? Somebody flan! No! You're my boy, Blue! You're my boy! Yeah, they're like purple puffs or some shit. You said they called them Princess Flan in this version? These things are ridiculous. So let's just hope that we can take them out again since they're uh, stuck in auto battle. I am screwed. Oh, we got one. That's one less set of attacks. Crap, I know. gonna die because I screwed up. What? Did you hear the music change? Wow. That is insane. Sirens are worth it here, and only here. Thanks for dancing with us. I've never played five or six. Is that a bad thing? I wouldn't say so. We're not going to be doing five or six here. Bum, 
Stay alive, I'd know what they're weak to, but I know that won't happen. Took me out. That's it. Hands free now. Pink bombs. No effect. To have her cast Bahamut sounds like a smart move. Sounds legit. Too legit to quit. We got this. <sighs> yeah, these ones are really good. Six was apparently like one of the great ones before seven like seven was the game changer to this style of gameplay you know it brought in an open world a materia system you know things that were not in these games and we need more open world than what these were It was it was 3D open world, but you know, we get the point. All of this is going up onto YouTube tonight. Oh. Yeah. I didn't get the item yet, did I? No, no they didn't. I played three. One in 64 chance, buddy. I got more sirens. Dance with us. Samba de flan. Changing up the music on us. Ooh, buddy. Ugh. 
<laughs> we got monsters that change the music of the game as I fight them. Yeah? Ah. Uh, how is your game? Boring. <laughs> Like I'm boring. Sassel, stay alive. Oh. I'll be playing 13 and 13 2 on the rig. And I can put time in that game. We'll be doing some 24s, I believe, with that game to grind out some of the items right there in the very beginning. Did I not. So oh my god. I don't know how they expect me to progress if I'm constantly doing this crap. It's like, hey Cecil, just just spam heals, bro. Spam heals. Are they gonna wreck me again? It just didn't feel like Final Fantasy. Um, I've got hundreds of hours on 13 and 13 too. Just not on Steam. On my Xbox, yes. Steam, nope. Nope. I think I got over 215 hours on Final Fantasy 13. Here's, I think I actually, that's how I broke my Logitech F310 controller with I, all the time I spent playing Final Fantasy 13. Xant, here's a question. Is it worth getting that drop? Is that drop worth all of this? Because if I can go finish the game, I'll go finish the game. Is the drop really worth getting? I'm gonna go out and you something. Left your channel. I have never gotten it. Got it.
And here they are, they're gonna cast it again. Watch, I'm never going to get it. We're gonna let Bahamut run through some. Game, set, match. Give me my damn item. I want my item. I'm bringing you guys out with the siren gun just for the item. Yeah, that Coliseum was dope. I like that. That was awesome. One last time. types of lightning as a party member in 13-2. Yeah, it was hilarious in my opinion. It was too funny. It was like, I'm gonna play with the regular lightning and the full-up armored lightning. <laughs> yeah, you won't have time to cast Bahamut. Yeah, I know. I'm literally just trying to steal now. Like, I know I won't even have time to heal. I can't do it on both. I have to choose one. I want to steal the item. That's what I want to do. And I hope I can do that. Couldn't steal. Uh -huh. dry ether really oh that friggin blows It is kind of nice fighting these guys, though. These guys are kind of cool, like, for the simple fact that they change the music and stuff during the fight. Hell yeah, Raku! Raku was awesome, if you know what I mean. Raku was freaking awesome. Just... Raku had the coolest stuff. Lock and six is your favorite. I don't know. I'm a I'm a Raku fan. Um, 
I did like Snow's character though. Snow's character, you know, he was fighting for a good, like for a good cause for the people um, type deal with that militia group when you first come across him in 13. You know, he's pretty awesome. Samba de Flan! Though I did at an anime con, see a girl dressed at Rizuku and she even had the contacts for the Owl Bad Eyes. Ah, I only get a dry ether. That. That's it. No more. No more. Nope. I'm done here. I'll, I'll try the next playthrough when I do it on my own. Whatever. <laughs> Everybody's like, show me the picture! If you guys have it, I honestly feel that you guys need to personally get together um, outside of Twitch. Like, in your own emails to do that. So Twitch doesn't have a fit, and so I don't get, you know, in trouble here on mine. Alright, so I'm skipping it. Let's see. Pink enemies. Um... It's the adamant for your Excalibur sword. The man will give you an extremely badass adamant armor. However, the chance of actually getting the tail is prohibitively low. At any rate, exit the inferno room, take the bridge to your immediate left, and down to B6. Oh yeah, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't I just wouldn't post in the channel. We've had Whoa, 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 whoa! I see we haven't been to the left that's probably on the way down that's not a big deal I know you're not complete moves. We we had an issue here on the channel where one idiot got it. I banned him permanently uh, for like saying he was posting porn. And I just uh, kidding, all kidding aside, it was not okay. So that's all. You know, that's all I gotta say about that. Ah, something jumped up and bit me. Pull all Forrest Gump craziness. We got the Fuma Shurikens. About to be fighting Wyvern. More Fuma Shuriken.
I got my 360, man. Star Ocean is definitely my jam. I've never actually completed all of the video sequences, and I really want to. I feel like Star Ocean is definitely worth it. Um, the story behind all of it is pretty sweet, too. So, definitely worth being around for. Alright, so, uh, my 360 is hooked up, but it won't display on my big screen TV, so I more or less was like, nope, I literally quit playing it, with all seriousness. I even quit playing my PS3. Speaking of Star Ocean, I actually started on the very first one on freaking Super Nintendo. Nice, man. It was actually one of the first Super Nintendo games to ever have voice effects shit, uh, clips in the freaking game. Nice. <laughs> I hear you, Karuk. I hear you, man. That might be a uh, something I do for my winter break. You know what I mean? Like little piece of tongue. Oh my God! What? Are you? Ki can I do this up? Up there? Oh my god. <laughs> like Did you finally get your PC back in working order from Bear Rippers? We're on it, bro. We're actually playing on it right now. There's the golden apple. going to come in and ask if you knew if Twitch had a board game section. Now I'm going to stay here because PC received hype. Um, Bear yeah, Rippers. Bear Rippers checks this, man. Like, 
They not only replaced his motherboard, his power supply, all the cabling, but they also replaced, upgraded and replaced his video card to a R9 390 8GB MSI gaming edition. Oh, he's talking to me. Yeah. Holy crap is right, dude. Oh, yeah. Let's see, can I walk over here? No, not really. Alright, this is the right way to go. Direct route. I like it. Hell yeah! I just hear Bear Rippers over the speakers and I'm all, who's talking to me? It's a uh, FU Grim Reaper, guys. It's a uh, Grim Reaper. He's one of the mods here. Let's go down these steps real quick, like. Yeah, I buy power definitely hooked us up for all of the the stuff that's been going on. Um, they helped us out a lot, so. It definitely means a little something for them to, uh, it, it definitely shows they, they do care in the end, in the end, when stuff is constantly going bad. Um... One is dead. Minerva Bustier. Okay. Pro mod number two. Grim, hey, hey, man. Whoa. Can I say mustache cash dash? <laughs> uh, yeah, the power supply and the graphics card got upgraded for free. Um, they literally took out the old ones. They took out the power supply, believing it was causing the graphics cards to go bad. Really, you're tempted to get me a copy? That would be freaking on my list. Um, if you guys actually check out, I do have an Amazon wish list link um, down below on my panels. It's one of those things like, I can't get it. I'm into all sorts of stuff besides video games, but that game is on my wish list. Why? It's not on Steam. It's in my wish list. You guys will predominantly see me uh, looking at games that I, I gotta buy physical copies of for Twitch. And if they're, like, you know, within reason, I'm all for getting it. Um, granted, Earthbound, I had to have it. Sorry, guys. I had to have Earthbound. Um... I don't have Elite Dangerous. I have Ark, I have Star Citizen, which I've never played. Uh, Rust, Reign of Kings. Um, I kind of play Evolve? Not really? It's weird. Uh, Wickinger got it for me a while back, and I've really been trying to get back into it. It's just, they've released so many updates, and it's, it's crazy hard. Um... 
really don't understand what I would do here. Why am I here of all places? Am I supposed to be here? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here. I see that Titan X on your Amazon oh. wish list. Yeah, you see that Titan X. I'm going to love the crowd of Star Citizen. Got it. Um, Fantasy Star Online 2. Pay to play. Um, I really want to, but I need the money. That's the problem. Elite Dangerous is the dad version to Star Citizen's R, Katie-like feel. Um, I think it goes both ways, because does Elite Dangerous have first-person first shooter mode? Are, are, is Elite Dangerous already making leaps and bounds to, to match uh, what Star Citizen's already doing? The Ogre Killer. So they do have first-person shooter aspect. So they're keeping up now. What's free now? Wait, Fantasy Star Online 2? Oh, Damn, I just saw that on your wish list. I cannot believe how much a fucking SNES cart for fucking Earthbound is going for. God damn. I yeah, wish dude. Still had mine. If you have never touched it, never opened it out of the box because it all came together in one thing, it's worth over $3,000. The book, the game, everything together, still in its box, never been seen. Uh, never opened to see the light of day. Worth over three grand. Like, there's no value on that game technically if it's that brand new. I forget, that makes me sick now considering, yeah, mine was open, mine was played, but before my shit that was in storage got stolen, I had it in the original box with the cartridge, the plastic cartridge sleeve the manual, um, and the original freaking receipt from when I had bought the damn thing. That's crazy, man. On the that makes yeah. me sick now. <laughs> I played it a lot as a kid. My buddy up the road from my dad's house uh, let me borrow it all the time. His parents were really cool about it, considering we both we both grew up playing video games a lot. And uh, I'd go up there and hang out after school and we'd play uh, Metal Gear Solid VR missions like crazy uh, once the PlayStation came out. Doesn't have a first person shooter style thing, but flying is in first person and such. I think the planet exploration is going to be in first person uh, shooter style. Though. Oh, so they're competing with No Man's Sky already? I'm talking about first-person shooter, as in, can you jump into another ship like you can in Star Citizen and kill everyone in it? Can you run around and have gun battles and stuff? That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, oh, the game is in first-person, so Star Citizen. I'm talking about can you for, can you do everything the same way in both of them? They're just made by two different companies because they're literally competing for the exact same style game when you look at it, and it's sickening because it's upsetting me that it's the exact. It, I feel like it's the exact same game. It's really annoying. Wow, 
I kind of want that Fantasy Star Universe guide. Yeah, basically what he's asking is, can you go all Battlefield or Call of Duty mode um, when you take over another ship and go first person mode and blow them all to hell? No, not yet, but it's coming out later this year alongside the Planet Exploration. Uh, Elite Dangerous is trying to produce faster than Star Citizen. Trying. Are they doing it? Yes and no. Oh, damn, Bear. That might make it interesting as hell when they bring that out later this year. No, not And the other part is uh, No Man's Sky. I actually like the vibrant colors. I like it. I really do. It's definitely appealing to me. So, I mean, who knows? We might we might see some No Man's Sky purchases. Weird. Yeah, I've been watching the thing for No Man's Sky since last year, and then when they showed what they showed at E3 this year, I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. Ah, they gave us an elixir. Eh, okay. There we go. These fights are getting easier. Ah, there's that boss. fight a behemoth here. Oh, behemoth. Oh. Budget and dangerous as for No Man's Sky. Hmm. I think that's going to be the clear winner unless Sarcism allows colonization before No Man's Sky release. Yeah, I know, right? That's that's the big ticket. You know what's gonna do it first. What's gonna be that uh that big game? Uh, me? That's what I'm looking at. What's gonna be our big game? What's what's gonna make this channel just pop and grow and get all crazy like? You know that's that's what I'm looking forward to something that blows us up like crazy guys and uh you know it's it's every streamer's uh plan to get out there get noticed and get on that track um you kind of be you kind of got to be playing all of the new stuff and constantly be in it and attracting people left and right it's really intense is arcadey because it seems fast yeah yeah it's like how i think of uh uh dirty bomb meets team for team fortress meets call of duty that's what i think about dirty bomb and uh that definitely shows ah man Bahamut summon. Yeah, Dirty Bomb to me is like a cross between Headband. Team Fortress 2, uh, Quake 3 Arena, and Call of Duty. It 
is fun as hell though. Don't get me wrong, Dirty Bomb is fun as hell. When it's not crashing. And I under that I understand that. Some of you can't play some of these games. Why? It's either hardware or it's, you know, XYZ. Yes. Three Simon sirens. I will take it. Um inventory. You see, you know. That's an in that's an in battle item right there. Mega elixir. That's that's an in battle item. To me, is the, one of the main reasons why I actually started watching Twitch back in the day was because, you know, I could watch people play games that I knew I couldn't play on my computer at the time. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna do it. Ah, here, you know what? Here we go. We've got cottages. There's our little home. <sighs> Refreshed. All right, we're going to be using so you can see the feel of both games. What? Did not realize this was here. Ah, it's for the special item right there, which is fine, which is fine. Thank you. Oh yeah, guys, guess what? We can actually check out stuff. We can actually look at things. That fight is tough. Yeah, it's the Wyvern fight. We're gonna treat it just like Bahamut. And we're gonna be summoning Bahamut to take it out. But we're gonna go back and save for the chance at continuing on. Obviously, we're gonna use a cottage. Let's use some magic here. Obviously, we're gonna heal up. The power of this sword is abhorred by Zemus, and so must never be set free. Ooh, but Dark Bahamut! The Wyvern! like Bahamut on crack, yeah. Dang it, I did the same spell over.
seen something here. Twitch allows streaming of every single Leisure Suit Larry game that has ever been made. said what game? Leisure Suit Larry, every single one of them, including all of the originals. Yeah, it's not on the banned game list. I just checked the game list. They actually have every single one of them listed in the game list. Supposed to have something like 60,000 health, and over there, Kane is just like 10 grand, 10 grand, 10 grand, like just like it's no big deal. Oops, I thought she was going to die by now. It's like Bahamut on crack. Well, they call it Dark Bahamut. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Just like that. We treat it just like Bahamut. Just like it. And we do have, like, I think 20 more... I think something like 15 levels above the guide here. We're pushing level 80 here. Obtained Ragnarok. Nice. Yeah. The best weapon in game. Yep. Let's go back to that darn save point, because we are freaking awesome. Wait. Thank you, Zamp. Granted, I feel like his attacks didn't really affect us like Bahamut's. Bahamut's was like outrageous. These, we do have like better gear on and equipment higher health levels and this was like <laughs> child's play it's crazy okay okay take that little 5k inventory go to the cottage This is like one of our very, very few safe points down here. So guys, we are almost endgame. We have, let's see, currently by the guide, three, four more fights. We have what the guide says is Plague, Lunasaurus, and Ogopogo, and then we have Zeromus, or Zemus, as he's called in this one. Um...
Apparently this is one of the hardest RPGs out there. I see why you had to come this way, because the other way is to keep going further. But we're grabbing the end game items as we go along for each oh, just party heads up, when you gotta do Final Fantasy IV, the after years, it's gonna be like majorly longer on the playthrough than it has been before. Oh yeah? Then I'll have to put some crunch time hours in on that this next week. Increase to 76? I, I don't know why I'm yawning right now. I really don't. It's terrible. Yeah, it's like every character in After Years has its own story in the game, and you play through each character's story. <laughs> the bot hates me again. No! Your real life RNG is not working here on the channel, I take it. <laughs> uh. No, that's accurate with my real life RNG. Oh my god, man. Terrible. Let's see, get a hold of my buddy. today the 11th we have one week from today technically one week from today I'm going and loading up on some groceries I don't think we have any more taco or burger meat to make taco meat like taco mix yeah it's like the 11th so one week from now like, my family, like, me and my family, we get food stamps. Like, that's how poor I am. I I have just enough funds, uh, technically, throughout the year. Um, I save my butt off wherever I can. Coupons, sales, you name it. I'm trying to do it. And that gives me the chance to do what I spent, saved up all this summer for. And I kind of overextended myself a little bit. And I'm like, crap. Like, I can afford my bills a little bit this month, but it's like, and the downside is like, holy cow, what am I going to do uh, in the end? Because August, I have jack. I have absolutely nothing. Frugal people unite. Oh, no. Frugal people. What are frugal people? What are frugals? Because I have no clue. Are they like moogles? And go Koopo and stuff. Koopo, Koopo, Popo. But yeah, like I said, I mentioned, you know, the Summer Charity Bash. The alerts are up, guys. Like, this is what happens when people donate. This is what it looks like. You know, this is just to, to show you what it looks like. 
and we have music and and for different donation values and this is what i meant like you know if you guys have sound clips you want stuff to uh or you know sound clips you want us to to have for like you know 30 second set 30 second to a minute sound clips that's what i'm looking at and basically that'll give you guys the ability to interact more on the stream that music needs to end Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I am extremely frugal when it comes to wanting to do this for the summer instead of working. So, yeah. Like, we have our rent paid. We have a place to live. What I'm looking at is, like, can we make it, you know, after next month? That's what I get worried about. And it bothers me because I can't say, oh yeah, we got all, you know nothing to worry about. It's like I already paid last month the minimum amount on the bills. This month, it's like uh, I'm stretching it a bit. Like, hey, keep our electric on for $75. Keep our, you know, our internet on for a hundred bucks and Hey, gas, take 30 bucks and shut up. And then I can use the rest back on, like, the electric or something. You know, and my gas isn't outrageously high. My gas hasn't even hit 200. Um, I know after this month, things will be fine. Because next month, I'll get my school check. I'll be able to go and afford books. Quite possibly at the beginning of the semester. You know, that kind of craziness. But it's like, dear God, it takes so long. Wait a minute. That's not cool. That's not cool. Wait, 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 wait. Holy Lance? Where the hell is this Holy Lance? Apparently there's a Holy Lance I should have gotten. Um... We, food, well, food, and, food and water is never a worry. That's the thing. We have, we, we're good on food. Water is part of our rent, and that's good. Um, we worry about electricity and our internet. Our gas is if you want hot water, <laughs> because it's so damn hot. Like it's 80 degrees in my now. And we have the windows open, the fan going. We're trying to keep it cool in here, and it's just unnaturally hot in our apartment. It's by far the worst thing ever. I see we are marking our donations, though, or our follower goal. So that's pretty darn cool. Ah, there's the Holy Lance. Crap. Ah, I see. I went straight down to Final Battle. I didn't even go back up. Let's see. Fought that thing. Here's the Holy Lance. We're going to go back down. I don't think we're ready for that boss just yet. Save first, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, and it's like, drop Bahamut, let what's his, let Kane drop from the sky, and let everyone attack, and we've got this boss in like three hits. Oh, and this guy's gonna cast Doom on us. That's terrible. Another cave has a save. Woo! Yeah, I know, right? Dude, that's... Them showers, dude. 
I love I love a nice like lukewarm to cold shower. Um, I know last summer I worked my butt off at the landscaping company, and you know, great work, hard work, real money, best kind of work there is in my opinion. You know, moving earth and dirt. It's all fine and dandy by me, but jeez, by far the like the most tired I've ever been, ever. I'd come home at four, and it's like six o'clock. Well, I'm out, guys. I'd have a beer and just be passed out. And I was just that exhausted. I hate being that tired. You know, so tired you don't want to do anything. That doesn't fly. And it's like, oh, well, I plan on getting stuff done. I plan on playing a game or hanging out. Oh, well, I guess that's what the weekend is for. No. no. Hell no. It's a terrible idea. That's what the frickin' uh, work, you know, the work day is for. You can unwind, relax, and chill. Not all that other craziness. So that's why I'm like really trying to do this. I love this. Those who sneak this, seek this hollow land shall have naught but their damnation. Oh. oh, it's Plague Horror. Oh, no. They still call him Plague. Reminds me of that, that dude from Monster Rancher, just with wings. Rosa Cast, holy. Okay. You look more like a firebender to me, not an earthbender. No wonder you're so worn out moving that earth. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Ah, I see. Dude, I moved earth like no other when I was working with that company last summer, man. Five-man crew knocking out eight houses in a day was their record. And I was a part of that crew. It was like me two of the hardscape guys and three like quick workers. I was just like a heavy wheelbarrow loader. And it was like, hey, we're gonna go load the uh, load these wheelbarrows up after we move all of like we move something like uh, 25 tons of uh, manure, like fresh manure that or mulch, that's what it was, mulch. We moved like 25 tons of mulch that day. And it was it, by, it was the fastest day of my life ever. Like we came to work and we started. Took, we took an hour lunch. Usually it's supposed to be like 45 minutes. We took an hour lunch and that's also a half hour from uh, wherever we were like working. You know, 15 minutes to get there, an hour to eat, 15 minutes to get back to the job site. Well. We literally were just like hauling ass all day. I've I've never worked so hard in my life, but it felt so easy. I came home, I drank two beers and passed out before seven o'clock at night, and I slept until seven o'clock the next morning when I had to get up and be at work by seven thirty. It was it was stupid. I'm not even gonna lie about it. It was stupid. By far, just outrageous. And I was exhausted all of last summer. I got into good shape, you know, like I lost 10 pounds and then I stayed that way regardless of what I ate. But you reach a point and you're just like, I don't care what I eat. Like, I'm just working it off or chilling. Because I know when I go back to school this fall, I'll have like two hours every day to go hit the gym. And my workout is supposed to be an hour and a half if you rest 
you know, five minutes or whatever, a couple minutes between ex uh, stations. But my university's gym is so awesome. Everything is like together. You can get off one machine and immediately hop on another one. And there's so many. We have so many uh, workstations at my university's uh, recreational gym. You know, you've got power lifting, you've got bench, you've got free weights, you've got machines if you're not good enough to use regular free weights. Um, it's, you know, it's all good. Personally, stick with uh, non-machines and you're good. And I plan on dropping some weight this fall. So we'll see what happens. Ooh. I will not relinquish the blessed relics to the likes of you. Oh, man. Lunasaur. Slaves and kept them drunk. Hell yeah. Uh, whatever that drink was, that's just a low quality beer. That's how the Egyptians have built the pyramids without the uprising happening too fast. We are men. Whatever, I'll admit, you know, at times, having a hard day at work, I am a drunk. Like, <laughs> No lie. Yeah, I got this match in the bag. Yeah, we got this match. It's done. Apparently he's only got like 23,000 health. Simplest fight ever. Yeah, it lied. It's it's got more health than it's supposed to. this I could imagine what goes fight? No. Nico was connected. Oh, that fight was easy then. Okay then. This was a good fight. Yeah. Edge and Kane leveling up.
Let's see. Ribbon. Auto battle. Oh look, it looks like that thing that was a boss. Should I put throw on edge? Actually, yeah, I'll put throw on edge because steel is quite literally worthless. Steel is not worth it anymore. The guide is literally just stating like my character should be in the 60s here. Like the mid 60s. I'm like 10 levels ahead. PSU AOTI as I watch you play. Gotcha, man. I take it you're rocking a uh, dual monitor setup over there, man. Nice. Ow. Over there, just... I'm gonna go grab me some water. Got me a healthy snack. Oh nice, you got PSU and windowed mode. Nice. Here's my healthy snack, guys. Cucumbers and one slice of tomato and salt, pepper, uh, salt, garlic, pepper, and onion powder. I should probably eat stuff more like this more often on stream. Why? It's just so much better for you? Side of the screen, cross the top of the screen, and take the bridge down. Okay.
go. Got it. What the hell is this thing? What you doing, babe? I wish we had more tomatoes. Should I buy more tomatoes tomorrow, babe? No, I mean, so you can make hot meat and stuff for you. I just fight. What? Some chance I go offline. We Why is everything ten times harder down here? Okay. Ooh, radio alert meteor. Whoa. 
Death Wow. Yeah, they weren't kidding this area is tough. This area is tough as hell. Sweet. Cecil leveled up. I'm scared. I hear you, Xanth. I'm fucking terrified of Windows 10 too, but you never know until you try. Death masks are completely BS. everyone.
<laughs> I hear you, Xanth. That's hilarious. Why am I not playing it myself? Well, because you want to watch the streamer play. And you just don't want to pick up the controller or the keyboard and go to town. <laughs> Besides, you're an awesome supporter, man. Thank you so much for being here. Ah. This is that. That. Ogo Pogo. Moss immune, the ensorcelled, the ensorcelled blade of Moss immune will never bend its will to that of men from the blue planet. Oh. Lunarians are a little racist, aren't they? Or biased, I should say. Jeez. Basically, I'm lazy. <laughs> That's how you want to look at it, man. in my containment zone and I'm going to crush it with my hand as it flies around. Do a quick Kira on all of us? Or did I not... Oh, okay, sweet. This should get us through at least one other attack. house settled, locking you in further. Well, okay. <sighs> that was far easier than I expected. Contain the Masami. Okay. Achievement unlocked. Unsealed. That's for getting all of the sealed weapons. Oh, jeez, man. channel the way of my inner bear ninja and snatch that fly. Bye. Chopstick. Hey, Mr. Miyagi, I did it! On the first try, beginner's luck. Who remember that? Dude, I would have bought me three houses. 
and I really would be streaming uh, full time. I actually wouldn't mind. Just as long as y'all could pay rent, and that's it. And when times got tough, we could work shit out. See that? Rent That's kind of cool. Yeah, rent wouldn't be an issue if you ever do some shit like that. Yeah, it uh, pops up over top of a. Uh... Wow, I don't understand why it's white though. And they gave you the weirdest color too. About oh, wow, that's weird. It, th th they need to fix that because Whisper shouldn't be able to come up in the freaking chat overlay. Um, no, that's the thing. I'm using, uh, I'm using chat, so it's me looking at my own chat, and I have it pulled up to use it on OBS. So, you're, if anyone is to whisper me, you guys will directly see it. Because it's, it's, I'm signed into Twitch, so therefore you guys are seeing the chat. That's why it's like that. Alright, getting that was nothing. Oh well, what the hell, everybody in here already knows I'm on food stamps anyways, like a matter of fact, no, I'm on a disability income anyway. I know, right? We all see that whisper on the stream. Get that whisp no whisper nonsense up out of here. Just darn up. Nothing to be ashamed of, dude. If I was making two, three grand a month, uh, we not, would be in a better position myself. It's just some people get a little bit testy about that shit. You know, they oh, see yeah. people streaming. You know, they see people streaming. They've got high-speed internet and all this shit, and they think, oh, you're just living off the government just so you can have good shit. Well, if I was doing that just to have good shit, um, I wouldn't be living in a house that was built back in 1820, like 1820-something, um, that's pretty much falling apart, and living in the ghetto, <laughs> to be honest. You know, I mean, if I was trying to screw the disability system, I'd be living in a freaking house, paying a damn house note, driving a freaking Bentley to be it. But, yeah. Huh. I hear that. I'd, I'd be doing the same if that was the case. But we got two kids, I'm going to school. It's not America home of the free and brave, it's America home of the poor land of the stupid and imprisoned now. <laughs> Dude, Bear Rippers, you got the, you hit the nail right on the head, bro. 
<laughs> That's totally hey, right. Hey, Rippers, I agree. America is not the home of the free and the brave. It's the home of the poor, the land of the stupid, and the imprisoned. I, I, it's it's really weird to like look at folks and like judge. Um, I just really hate the ones that like should be getting piss tested for what they have. Like folks who are literally like, yeah, I got two kids, but I got eight baby mamas, I can honestly say right now, and I'm claiming like you know, seven grand in fucking country, you know welfare. Like I don't what? feel like my government has honored me the way it should way I should have been for putting my life on the line. <sighs> I hear you there, Grim. Mm. Now, I'm barely getting by and stuff because I racked up a lot of debt, but I make too much to qualify for any sort of aid. Oh, dude, that... That's where the system gets you so bad, because they're like, oh, that interest rate, bro, you could pay all that off, but you'd be living on, like, five bucks a day to eat. I hate that stuff so much. It's, like, ridiculous. And live instead of survive. What you talking about, Bear Rippers? You talking to me or uh, Grim? Because, I mean, that can be said about a lot of folks here in the channel, you know, the streaming. 